All right, that was time for a new video. And I thought we'd talk about health, healing, wellness. Oh, I hear people snoozing already. <laughs> now, nah, this is good information. All right, Jim Ventura, astrologer, navigational consultant, uh, study of metaphysics for many, many, many years. Um, okay, let me throw the basics out to you. Um, there are always kind of three components to illness, toward getting sick. Uh, one is obviously the physical. There are germs and illnesses and body parts break and atrophy and, and, and we get stuff in our system that throws us out of balance. There are physical things that affect our health and wellness. That's what generally the medical Western medicine focuses on. And at that level, uh, the work that they do is excellent often and quite good. But the two components that are often completely ignored when it comes to health and wellness. One, a little bit more of this in, in society is looking at um, conditions, uh, the food we take, the air we breathe, the things around us, how they influence us and how they affect us. Um, diet, exercise, these are, that's an equal component to how we get sick or ill as well and how these things come about. So you do get some of that. Uh, sometimes there's a little slide over in Western medicine toward looking at that, although certainly not enough by any means. Um, and then there's a third pillar, which is weird because this is where illness typically starts. It is in your emotional body and in your beliefs, the way you see life, what you have anguish and fear about that is unresolved. This is what in essence often forms and creates illness. And I can tell you, even though for most people they have not been taught this or see this this way, um, this is really a, an effect that is across the board. Um, we've been kind of led to believe a lot by Western medicine and modern society that an illness gets you, that it's random, or it's just that it's genetic. Um, so when we look at the causes behind this, um, you know, and there's a difference. Um, childhood issue, uh, issues with illnesses and difficulty have a little bit of a different vibrational issue to them uh, because sometimes people are born with them or they acquire them fairly early on. So that's a whole separate subject. Um, but as a general rule of thumb, if you become a diabetic or you have issues with sciatic or you develop kidney stones or any other thing, <laughs> there is an energetic emotional issue pattern that is behind that. Often we're struggling with something for sometimes for months or even many, many years. And then um, we have many opportunities to resolve it through health and wellness or exercise or changing our perceptions. And uh, we don't. And then it eventually will surface uh, at times in the physical body where we're forced to now face it. So let me give you a couple examples of this. I've had issues with my sciatic nerve, my lower back. Um, it's a large part of it's on my left side on my leg. I've been working through that through yoga and stretching and it's frustrating, but uh, it's moving through slowly, you know, and the pattern behind sciatic is often issues of not feeling supported um, by people and things around us, um, especially if it's on the left side, the left is the past and the feminine, the right side issues are the masculine and the future. So uh, it can be not feeling supported, sometimes having trouble accepting, you know, the joy of life fully. Um, often there can be triggers from financial issues or stress. So those energy patterns are there. Then we wrench our back or our back deteriorates and then it becomes a physical thing. So I own that. And, and I've dealt with a number of um, health issues throughout my life. And for the most part, I've, I've cured them through, you know, acupuncture and herbs and, and uh, changing my belief system and coming to an awareness of what was going on there and moving that through. So I've used alternative medicine for years and I'm not talking out my butt here. Um, it has clearly worked. I've overcome uh, kidney stones and kidney issues. I've overcome diverticulitis, for the most part allergies, a um, few things throughout my life that I've used uh, alternative methods for and have healed. And I always go to the core of what the energy pattern is behind it, what is blocked. So let me give you another quick example of this. Like for instance, diabetes, very common illness and disease. You can track the physicality of it. Um, and obviously there are factors that come into play with that unquestionably. 
But the pattern behind diabetes energetically, spiritually, emotionally is um, difficulty accepting the joy and sweetness of life. So if you dealt with conditions when you were younger where it was hard to be happy or feel joy, um, often this can end up creating a diabetic pattern in us. Uh, we may be drawn to overeating sugar or having an imbalance in that. Then again, it becomes physical. Same thing with a biggie that I always bring up. You know, the pattern behind cancer, we look at environment and we look at the physical causes as we should. But typically, you know, and you can get more specific when you look at the area of the body. This is where the chakras come into play when you go further into that. Um, you know, uh, cancer, typically the energy pattern behind that is hopelessness and anger that has cooked in the body for a very, very long time. So again, the area in the body where it shows itself will often give you insight into what was behind it um, energetically and emotionally, what unresolved um, issues there are inside, what hurts, what pains have never been resolved and now have shown up in the physical. So, you know, it's hard not to get angry sometimes, but be angry and then be done with it. You know, if you stay in anger forever, you're going to get sick, you know, and also... Um, Hopelessness is, is a very human emotion and feeling. Sometimes people deal with incredibly difficult circumstances and they understandably get hopeless. But we just want to check that in ourselves. You know, go hug a dog. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go for a walk in the woods. You know, remind yourself the beauty of life and you can move away from some of those patterns as well as looking at alternative healing methods for doing that. So again, my point is this. Um, you know, listen, the good news is if you only use Western medicine and surgery and you run to these things, you know, often when you're convalescing, when you're repairing in a hospital bed or at home, sometimes we correct and heal the wounds inside. We mull them over and then the surgery will even be more likely to have worked uh, or stay uh, um, permanently in that sense where we don't get another illness or it does not return. So there's good news there. It can work. Uh, but usually, again, it's a backhanded way of doing it. If you approach illness from the physical, what you need to do to resolve it, but look at what the energy pattern is behind it and diet, exercise, and those things as well, you're much more likely to heal something, even potentially permanently, and not replace it with something else, which is often what occurs in, in you know, a lot of times with Western medicine that's not always talked about. So uh, we're not stuck. Illness is part of the physical plane. It's part of our world. Uh, we're all going to have it in one form or another, but uh, we don't have to be so negative about it if we understand there are ways to heal it by getting to the core of what's going on there. You know, a, a lot of, I do this with a lot of my clients in personal sessions. We talk about an illness or difficulty, and I can often help them unravel what the causes or the energy pattern is behind that. One of the many gifts I have for having done this type of work for many, many years. So, all right, if you're not already subscribing to my uh, videos here, hit the subscribe button. I do a video about every month. Get information about my services at jimventura.com. Uh, services available by phone or in office in Phoenix. Uh, most of my clients are not in Phoenix, so a lot of out-of-office options. Uh, check out that good stuff. And uh, I also do an every other month column at Blogspot under Playing with Uranus. <laughs> and uh, you can check that out or email me direct at VenturaSag at Yahoo to get added to my mailing list. All right, till next time, happy start to the holiday season.